Let's sign in. Now I have the admin and I can go to the admin routes. And boom, I have two users decline, 90% decline. <laughs> if I try to access these routes as a non-admin user, this is a non-admin user, but if I'm I'm really annoying person and did this, boom, 404. No admin routes exist in this. So, hey guys, this is Yusuf and this is my second video on YouTube. From my last video, I'm building SaaS boilerplate that will help people start their own SaaS uh, or their own software or app or whatever that you want to start in less than a week or maybe a week or maybe two weeks. I don't know. I'm here to tell you one extra tip. It's really crucial and really important tip. When you start developing your system, the database, of course, will be empty. Uh, if you have a custom flow for registering uh, admins, you will need admin to approve all of these things okay how are we gonna do this we can have um, a predefined admin or a super admin in your system hard to code it in your system and please guys don't you ever add the email or password for the super admin in your code for security purposes and for the second reason someone like me is building a SaaS boiler or even you can build your own app or whatever the admin account can be different from user to user and even if you had it hard to code it this can lead to Maybe if a hacker knows the email, he can run like a million password and, and, and brute force your system. And of course, you should add the mechanism for the brute forcing. But anyway, you are opening possibilities for people to know the email and, and hack your system. So how to implement the feature itself in NextOS? Uh, in NextOS, uh, before starting with NextOS, I have one tip uh, or one thing. Um, by default, I am adding the role as a user. So this is the default option for me. Then after this, when we go to the index file in NextOS, uh, I'm using credentials provider, I'm using Google. Both of them, the default option, if, if it's a new user, the default option, guys, will be user. But when you want to use and pass the token, you will pass it at this. You will go to the session and you will pass, you will accept it from the token and pass it to the session. And inside the JWT block, this how you how you can do it. This is a custom logic for me, guys. Don't bother about it. But I'm taking the user, accepting the user here. This will be available for the first time you authenticate. And then you pass all the details of the user here. You pass it to the token and the token now have all the user uh, details. The second step in building your role-based authorization is your middleware. Your middleware have to prevent users from accessing routes that they don't belong to. Or they doesn't? I don't know. Anyway. So first we check if there is admin route. If this is an admin route, then only admins can access. I decided here to respond with 404 for any users that, for any user that doesn't belong to this route. Maybe you will do, use a different uh, mechanism or you, you will use different approach. But I love this approach which she's telling the, I will not tell you that this route does exist if you don't belong to this route. So, and then the, I prevent the user and, and return 404. If you saw this error while you are building um, anything with uh, middlewares in Next.js, even though I'm not building this on the edge, I'm building it on my <laughs> MacBook. So this is here, not the edge. The middleware is running on the edge environment and it's checking for these things. And I can't run my database queries inside the middleware. So what I, what I did is exporting the OS config, all the callbacks and everything that is not database related. This, I can use my OS, and my OS, my next OS in my middleware. All I want to do is remove this from here because I'm sharing this config between the actual, uh, the actual config and the config in the middleware. The third step in building, okay, this would be theoretically because I didn't finish it, but the third step is building your own registration for the admin. As I said in the beginning of the video, we already have a one admin, which is a super admin. All the systems should have a super admin. In order to authenticate the admin or in order to register the admins, you have two options or maybe two suggestions. First, you have a custom signup flow for the admins and then the admin can, the super admin can approve these admins or the super admin himself can send the invitations to these users and then these users can be imported or invited to the, be invited to the application. Either of those are correct and you can use it. But how I'm going to do it is like the following. Um, I didn't do it yet, but probably I will pick the invitation method or the invite method. Uh, maybe I will send the email to the users uh, to invite them to, to invite the admins. I will send the email to this admin to invite him 
and it will be a magic link that will redirect the user to the platform and after redirection it will create the user it's pretty easy guys and let's look it look at this into action in action but anyway now i can register my own user this is the admin i have in my account guys don't hack me and it has a super secure password password <laughs> let's sign in now i have the admin and i can go to the admin routes and boom i have two users declined 90 percent declined what the fuck is this if i try to access these routes as a non-admin user this is a non-admin user but if i'm i'm really annoying person i did this boom 404 no admin routes exist in this so that's it for today guys thanks for watching me and thanks for the one subscriber i gained <laughs> i hope i gain more subscribers thank you guys for watching me um next video would be coming soon Thank you for watching me again and goodbye.